Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday Title Tidbit time. My name is Dana Delmer. I'm your local title rep here with Clearmark Title. Hello everybody, I'm Joe Pena, your title officer here at Clearmark Title. So today what we wanted to talk about for our tidbit is we wanted to educate you on Prop 58 and Prop 193. And we wanted to talk about these tax exemptions and how they can be a benefit um, for you if you're transferring your property to your child or your grandchild. So Joe's going to extend and inform us a little bit more on these two propositions. Yeah, thanks, Dana. Yeah, so um, some some people may or may not be aware that if you give your property uh, or sell your property or inherit your property to your your grandchild or your child, there is a form that you can complete um, and send to the county assessor's office uh, of that particular county, which will then um, exempt you uh, the, from the property tax exempt your property from being reassessed um, by that transfer. Uh, it's basically a non-reassessable transfer. Uh, Prop 58 um, basically allows for uh, a parent to transfer their principal residence uh, to their child, either through inheritance or just regular deed transfer. Complete the form, send it into the assessor's office, and you should be excluded from uh, reassessment of that transfer. For instance, my property, I've owned it. It's been in my family since 1960. My grandmother bought it. Uh, it then was uh, inherited by my mother, and after that, it was then inherited by me. And it has not been the uh, property hasn't been assessed since 1960. So I'm basically paying taxes on my house for the last assessment, which was when it was purchased by my grandmother. Very minimal. <laughs> yeah. So so, uh, yeah, so it's a very big benefit. Um, you know, you have three years to go ahead and send this form in after the transfer for it to take effect. Uh, now, Prop 193 extended this uh, option to grandparent to grandchild. So same thing applies here. Um, and again, this is the principal residence of the mother of the parent or grandparent um, being transferred. It's got to be the principal residence. Can't be an investment property. Yeah, it's got to have the homeowner's exemption uh, or be qualified for the homeowner's exemption um, due to being a principal residence. And um, yeah, you can a grandchild grandparent can transfer the property to the grandchild, and also with the Prop 193 form, um, have it excluded from reassessment. Cannot be the other way other way around when it comes to grandchildren and grandparents. Grandchild can't transfer the property to the grandparent and and be eligible for the exclusion. Um, but for the Prop um, 58, the uh, parent to child, you can. It can be a transfer from the children to the parents as well and qualify uh, for the exemption of the transfer oh, it can. Uh, assessment. Yeah, okay. reassessment. So Perfect. just a helpful tidbit on, uh, you know, exclusions uh, for tax assessments. And um, also we wanted to talk about one last really quick tidbit, uh, VA uh, discounts. discounts. Yeah, uh, we've had some questions as to whether or not we give discounts for veterans. And there is a discount uh, for a veteran who is the seller of a property. Mm -hmm. So uh, reach out to myself or Dana for uh, any details on, on the specifics of that. But they do get a considerable discount um, for being a veteran and selling the property. So they get a discount on their owner's policy, basically. So Everybody loves that. Yeah. So, <laughs> thanks for your service. Yes. Um, anyways, all right. Well, thank you so much. And let us know if you have any questions on the information uh, that we just went over. And thank you so much for your knowledge, Jeff. Thanks. All right. Take care. Have, have a, a good week. Guy. Great week, guys. Bye. Bye.